Hello students, uh, today we will discuss uh, a very important uh, uh, part of the electrical machine that important portion is uh, regarding the test of uh, transformer, single phase transformer. The test that is uh, we are going to discuss today that is open circuit test and short circuit test. So let us start. So uh, as you can see this is my presentation outline here we will discuss about open circuit test first then second we will discuss about short circuit test that is AC test and uh, some explanation regarding the test then we will go uh, with some calculations and uh, at the last we will discuss one example. So coming to next slide first that is open circuit test. So before coming to this open circuit test so let us understand why we are doing the test in transformer. So as you know different type of test that is conducted on transformer. So that is two test that is open circuit test and short circuit test. So basically through this test we can calculate some parameters as well as the losses which is happening in the transformer. So you know the losses basically the core loss or the iron loss. And the second is the copper loss. So this uh, two losses that can be also calculated through this test. So by using this uh, parameter and by using this losses we can calculate the voltage regulation as well as the efficiency of the transformer. So that we can know how the uh, machine is efficient or not that can be calculated here. So that is the purpose of doing test. So basically today we are doing we are understanding the two test that is open circuit test first. So you see the first test that is open circuit test. So what is the purpose of this test? The purpose is that you can see as I said that through this test we can calculate or we can measure the loss. The in open circuit test so you can see the core loss or the iron loss that can be calculated here and with the core loss we can also calculate some uh, magnetizing components no load current that is I0 and core loss uh, component of the transformer that can also be calculated here. So that is the purpose of open circuit test. So how the test that is done here. So you can see in the diagram this is a single phase transformer. So in the uh, diagram the primary side that is the LV side that means that is the low voltage side and the secondary side that is the high voltage side. So as the name suggests it is a open circuit test. So what we have done here in the secondary side you can see in the secondary side the HV side that is open. This portion is open the secondary side is open and in the primary side or the LV side the instruments that are connected. So what are the instruments? So you can see voltmeter is connected in parallel, wattmeter that is connected and ammeter is connected in the series and all these instruments are connected in the LV side or in the primary side. So that means we are conducting this test on the LV side of the single phase transformer. So what is the reason why we are doing this uh, test uh, conducting on LV side? Because as you know this is the low voltage side. So this open circuit test that is uh, uh, this test required the rated voltage. So in the LV side the rated voltage that is less and this uh, less voltage or this rated voltage that can be handled through these instruments. So basically the instruments or meter instruments that is connected ammeter, voltmeter, wattmeter that can handle that rated voltage. So that is the purpose of doing this open circuit test on LV side of the transformer. So here this is the circuit diagram and here this the, these are the points that is written here the ammeter voltmeter that is connected in the uh, in the transformer. So coming to next slide you see so here uh, how the test that is conducted. So the as I said the rated voltage that is required so by through the variac uh, we are going to apply the rated voltage. So uh, through the variac as you know variac is a uh, instrument which uh, it is a auto transformer which uh, vary the voltage. So we have to vary the voltage up to the rated voltage. So once the rated voltage come 
then we can take the readings so readings of ammeter readings of voltmeter and readings of wattmeter so voltmeter will show the voltage value ammeter will show current value and wattmeter will show the power value so this power in the uh, open circuit test whatever the instrument this wattmeter gives the power value that power that shows the iron loss of the transformer so that is a wattmeter reading that we can get so here you see the uh, as the secondary side is open so no current will flow through the primary winding so the value of no load current is very small and that is 4 to 6 percent of uh, load loaded current okay and uh, this uh, copper loss occurs only in the primary side of the transformer and the secondary side is open and that copper loss value is also less as the uh, uh, current is less so the copper loss value that is negligible and basically we here in the open circuit test we are going to measure the core loss or the iron loss of the transformer so here the calculation so some calculation you can see the w0 that is the wattmeter reading and i0 that is the uh, voltmeter reading uh, i0 is the ammeter reading v1 is the voltmeter reading so the wattmeter reading as i said the wattmeter will give the power rating and that power value that basically shows the iron loss of the transformer so we can write pi that is equal to w0 pi means the iron loss that is represented through pi and pi that is gives the wattmeter reading so whatever whatever the wattmeter reading that comes that uh, assume to be that is the iron loss so w0 equal to v1 into i0 cos phi 0 so no load power factor cos phi 0 that is equal to wattmeter reading divided by voltage into current so v1 is the primary side voltage and i0 i0 is the no load current so working component i iw that is the value is i0 into cos phi 0 so these are the calculations and uh, here magnetizing component how to calculate magnetizing component so no load current has two component all of you know that is one is iw another is im so magnetizing component which helps to produce flux this im equal to uh, square root of i0 square plus im square i0 is a no load current im is a magnetizing component of current so equivalent uh, uh, exciting resistance r0 the parameter the winding parameter that is r0 and x0 that is also that we can get through this uh, test so this r0 value equal to voltage by current so voltage is the primary side voltage v1 iw is the working component of current and x0 x0 is the reactance reactance of the winding so that is also voltage by current so v1 divided by im that is a magnetizing component of current so here hence in this uh, test open circuit gives core loss of the transformer and the sont parameters of the equivalent circuit so sont parameters means the r0 and x0 value that is also calculated from this loss so that is all about the open circuit test coming to next short circuit test so here in the short circuit test so what is the purpose the first purpose is to get the copper loss of the transformer so as i said in the open circuit test we are getting uh, core loss and in the short circuit test the purpose is to get the copper loss so the first purpose is to get the copper loss on full load and second is equivalent resistance impedance leakage reactance that is also known by this short circuit test so the some parameters winding parameters that can also be known by this short circuit test so explanation so here the short circuit as the name suggest the short circuit so that means the secondary side of the transformer you can see the secondary side of the transformer or the lv side of the transformer that is short circuited through a thick wire and the instruments the ammeter uh, wattmeter voltmeter all are connected across the hv side or the primary side of the transformer so short circuit test that requires rated current so that's why we are uh, doing this uh, test on hv side of the transformer short circuit test is conducted on hv side of the transformer because the transformer requires rated current and uh, from the hv side the rated current that we can get and that rated current can be handled by these instruments so that's why the uh, short circuit test that is conducted on hv side of the transformer so the ammeter reading that gives the uh, current rating and voltmeter that gives the voltage value and the your the core loss due to the applied voltage that can be also neglected so in the here in the short circuit test 
the major loss that we are measuring that is the uh, your um, copper loss and the um, uh, core loss that is less so that's why the core loss that is neglected the wattmeter reading can be taken as copper loss uh, in the transformer so here the wattmeter is connected so whatever the reading that we we are getting from this wattmeter that will give the copper loss of the transformer so the calculations so you can see calculation so wac wac means that is the wattmeter reading during short circuit condition wac then vac voltmeter reading during short circuit condition iac that is the ammeter reading then uh, impedance so equivalent impedance that is voltage by current vac by iac r equivalent resistance equivalent that is the equivalent resistance wac by current square iac square then uh, reactance equivalent reactance equal to square root of z equivalent square minus r equivalent square so the values are referred to the uh, hv side of the transformer so the short circuit uh, uh, test of the transformer that gives copper loss as well as the equivalent circuit parameters the winding parameters that is resistance and reactance of the transformer so that is all about the short circuit test now coming to next slide so this is one example based on this test so this is a numerical problem so in the numerical problem you can see the problem uh, that is given a 100 kv transformer is given and the 11000 11 kb 11000 by 220 volt rating is given so 11000 means that is the primary side voltage and 220 means that is the secondary side voltage 50 hertz single phase transformer gave the following results so here the results are for open circuit test the open circuit test gives voltage value that is 220 volt 45 ampere and 2 kilowatt that is the wattmeter reading that is given and in the short circuit test the voltage that is 500 volt 9.09 ampere that is the ammeter reading 3 kilowatt is the wattmeter reading so this is the from the short circuit test so this both test uh, these are the values that is given by this test so determine question is asking determine the equivalent circuit parameters and draw equivalent circuit so equivalent circuit parameters so as i said circuit parameters that is your r0 x0 that we can calculate from open circuit test so first uh, here from the open circuit test that we will calculate r0 and x0 so r0 and x0 so you see first the data given that is voltage value current value and power wattmeter reading value these are the value given so we can calculate no load power factor so no load power factor as we know p equals to vi cos phi so from the cos phi equal to uh, power by voltage into current so here power is also given voltage current is given so it is multiplied and we are getting that is 0.20 so no load power factor and that is known then uh, after calculating uh, your no load power factor then sin phi that is sin phi 0 equal to 0.98 that is also known then your working component of current no load current has two component one is your iw another is im so iw equal to i0 cos phi 0 then im equal to i0 sin phi 0 so that is the uh, in this way we can calculate iw and i0 so i iw equal to i0 into cos phi 0 so no load current is given so the data is 45 ampere so 45 into 0.20 then im im equal to i0 into sin phi 0 so i0 equal to 45 into 0.98 so that is the uh, 44.1 ampere that is the magnetizing component of current that is we are getting then after calculating the no load current component then we can get the r0 value and x0 what is r0 x0 r0 is a resistance resistance and x0 is the reactance the winding parameters that is r0 and x0 r0 equal to v0 by iw and x0 equal to v0 by im so voltage value is given so iw and im that is already we have calculated so iw value we are getting 0.9 so voltage 220 by uh, your uh, 0.9 so that is 0.9 sorry 0.9 so that is 24.44 ohm that that will come and x0 equal to v0 by im so 220 by 44.1 so that is 4.99 or equivalent to 5 ampere we are getting so that is the from the open circuit test now you see now you see from the 
uh, your short circuit uh, for short circuit test you see for short circuit test the values are given that is the voltage value current value same power value that is given so here the uh, three parameters that is we are calculating that is the impedance then resistance then reactance so impedance that is voltage by current so vsc by iac so vsc value that is 500 and iac equal to 9.09 so that is 55 ohm then uh, resistance resistance equal to uh, power by current square <coughs> so that is coming 36.31 ohm then uh, reactance that, uh, that is the square root of z square minus r square z is the impedance r is the resistance then uh, after that we are getting that is 41.31 ohm so this is uh, all about one example so uh, i hope you understand so thank you